What's up everybody? Welcome back to my kitchen for another video. I'm Derek from Simonite Nutrition and today I'm going to be sharing with you three truly epic burritos. So not only are these fairly healthy, but they are super delicious and very satisfying. So I'm going to be showing you a breakfast one, lunch, and a dinner burrito. So you can have burritos every single meal of the day, throw out your cutlery, you don't need it anymore. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But really these burritos are so tasty and they are going to rock your world. I think you're going to love them. So we're big fans of burritos around here and apparently you guys are too because I must get more recipe requests in my DMs for the burritos that I make than just about any Anything else but don't worry if you're not a burrito fan which like I don't know if anybody isn't but if you're not a burrito fan if you don't want the tortilla for whatever reason you can make any of these into a bowl very easily but I love burritos because they always give you the perfect ratio of all the flavors in every single bite that's one of the reasons why burritos are so amazing and this video is gonna be awesome today because I get to show you a bunch of little recipes that you don't necessarily have to use you know for what I'm showing you here today you don't have to put them in the burrito you could use them for lots of other things. Uh, for instance, this barbecue soy curl is so good, it goes well with just about anything or you can even eat them on their own. They're like so amazing. And along with showing you guys how to make what goes into the burrito, I will also show you how to roll it. And then I'll also share this technique that one of you guys shared with me on how to seal up the ends so that it stays closed while you're eating it and it looks all professional like this. So in order to make a good burrito, you obviously need to start with a good tortilla. So these are the ones I'm gonna be using. I always get tons of questions, what tortillas do you use? Uh, so this is by the Bakestone Brothers. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to find it where you live. This is definitely a Canadian brand, um, but it's just like your pretty standard, somewhat natural, uh, wheat flour tortilla. So nothing crazy here. I do wish that they were organic, but it is so hard to find like good tasting natural organic tortillas, especially like big ones that are this size that you can actually roll burritos out of. Uh, so yeah, I wish that they were, you know, a little bit more holistic than this, uh, but I've tried with the other ones and you know, they like pretty much just like break apart as you try and wrap them. So that's just not going to work. So like every time I make a meal, I always think of what's going to take the longest to cook. And then I start with that. And then while that's cooking, you can do the rest of the other things. So uh, very first thing I'm going to do is make some rice. In my opinion, every good burrito should have some sort of grain in it. And uh, I'm going to be using brown rice today for this. So I just cooked this in the Instant Pot. It makes really good rice. It's really easy. You don't have to watch it or anything like that. You can't even really burn it. And uh, as far as how much water I put in, I just use the old first knuckle trick. If you guys don't know this, Google it. It's like the simplest way to measure your liquid for rice. But of course, if you don't want to use brown rice, there's other options. There's quinoa, there's white rice, there's barley, there's millet. You can use a bunch of different things. So I went and made this ahead of time and there's a ton of rice in here, more than what I'm going to need for the burritos. But I always recommend you do this when you're cooking something like, you know, a grain or beans or, you know, potatoes or something like that. Make a lot of it because you can always put it in the fridge and then you have the base of a meal for the next day or two or three. So I guess it makes sense to first make the breakfast burrito, then we'll make the lunch and the dinner. Uh, so to make the breakfast burritos, you're going to want to start by making these little tofu egg patties. And I made these ahead of time so that they can marinate, soak up all the flavors. So let me show you guys how I did this. So you want to start off by slicing some extra firm or firm tofu into strips like this. So keep in mind, I'm making double the amount of filling that I need to for each of these burritos because if I mess one up, I at least want to have the chance to like make another one and it never hurts having extra food around. Next, the marinade. I'm starting this with uh, two tablespoons of water. <laughs> Pretty good vegan recipe here, eh? Tofu and a water right off the bat. No, it gets better, don't worry. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric. So this is gonna give it that yellow color, make it look a little bit like egg, but it's also gonna give it some flavor. So if you don't like the flavor of turmeric, you do not have to add it. A half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon of maple syrup to it. This isn't necessary, but I do like the added sweetness and flavor that it gives it. it does give it a little bit of a breakfasty kind of hint too with the maple syrup. And turmeric can be kind of bitter as well. So that's why it's kind of nice to sweeten it up with the maple syrup. A pinch of black pepper or two. And then lastly, I'm going to be adding a quarter of a teaspoon of Kalamanak. So this is also known as black salt, uh, but basically it's just a slightly eggy or sulfurous tasting salt. So not only is it going to taste a bit more salty when adding this, but it's also going to give it a bit of an eggy flavor as well. So if you like it, cool, add it. If not, you can leave it out and just add some regular salt. And I know it can be a little bit hard to find. So this is the brand here that we get. It's by a company called Suraj. We get it at 
the Superstore in Canada. So if you're in Canada, that's where you can get it. But uh, if not, look in like the ethnic foods aisle or even like a Indian grocery store, something like that. And then once it's mixed well, just pour it over top and marinate the tofu. If you don't have time to wait for it to marinate or you just want to eat right now, um, you can use this technique for a quick marinade, which I've shown before. Basically, you just take a smaller container and press it down on top of the tofu, kind of like you're squishing down a sponge or something. Uh, and that'll help to kind of get some of those flavors inside the tofu quicker. But if you want the ultimate marinade, you do that first and then you let it sit marinate and you're gonna have the best finished product. So when you feel that they've soaked up enough flavors, it's just time to saute them. So I'm just gonna fire them in the frying pan. And then to make it extra amazing, I'm gonna be adding this smoked apple and sage sausage to it as well. And I'm gonna cook that with those little tofu patties. So if you've never tried these sausages before, they are pretty good and they are vital wheat gluten based. So they're gonna be really high in protein as well. Okay, so while that's cooking, I'm just gonna chop up a few other things that we need for it, like this red pepper. So I always like to have a little bit of crunch in my burritos. I think something nice and fresh and crunchy like this is a really good addition. And then grate some cheese. So I'm gonna be using this Dea Jalapeno Havarti. And I know I've said this before, but if you guys have only tried the pre-shredded Dea and you didn't like it, definitely get the block, grate it yourself, and give it another try, because I do think it's quite a bit better. I'm actually gonna grate a bunch of cheese because I do need it for one of the other burritos. And you just wanna get some spinach ready as well. So it's always good to try and cram some greens into these burritos. All right, so we are all done cooking. Now we're just ready to roll. So one thing that I like to do before I make the burritos is to just pop the tortilla in the microwave for just about like 10, 12 seconds and just softens it up enough that you can roll it really easily. If you have super fresh tortillas, it might not be an issue for you, but I do find it helps. Um, however, if you don't wanna go near a microwave, you definitely don't have to. All right, so let's roll this burrito. Uh, what I found is that it's easiest if you put the food in like this so that when you roll it, you're rolling it like that. What I used to do, I guess just because of the way that you eat the burrito, I would put it in, I'd put the food this way lengthwise and then try and like turn my body to kind of like roll it like this and it was really awkward. Uh, so yeah, that's, you know, it took me like many years to figure that out, put it this way. So first I'm gonna start with the cheese. I like to have that on the bottom because that's gonna touch the heat once we go to, uh, you know, like pan fry them and then the cheese will melt really nicely. Next, I'm gonna add some of these little tofu patties that we cooked, the tofu egg. That should be good. You don't wanna make this like too wide because if you, you know, fill it up out to here, you're not gonna be able to fold the ends over. And then some of the sausage, the bell pepper, the spinach. So with this, you kinda wanna take a little bit of care to just sort of like stack it nicely because yeah, if it's all like willy nilly all over the place, it's gonna be hard to roll. And of course the rice, can't forget about that. We're almost there, it's a little bit dry, so I'm gonna add some avocado, because that's gonna help. I'll also add some healthy fats to it. And then you're gonna wanna add some sauce to this, so I think either salsa or ketchup, or both, if you're feeling adventurous, is really good in here. And because I'm going to be rolling it this way and everything's gonna be folding over here, I'm not adding sauces on this side, because if you do, it just gets extra messy. This way everything kinda gets, you know, the sauce kinda gets contained in there. Ketchup and salsa together seems kinda strange, but it works. And now the big roll. So this definitely takes like a little bit of practice, but um, you know, you can definitely master it. So what I like to do is just kinda like, you know, show the tortilla and the burrito what kind of shape you're talking about here. And what I find works is if you kind of, okay, let me try to explain this. If you fold these right in half, I don't find that it works that well. Cause yeah, look, you're left with these like funny wings and uh, it's like, what do I do with those? So what I find helps is if you kind of fold it like this, it looks kind of like a funnel. That's how you start. Keep everything contained. Oh gosh. And then see how I'm containing it with, my hands around the outside and then you just kind of squish everything in there oh my gosh this is gonna work all right and then once you get here you just want to fold these edges back in on itself like that same with the other side and then just keep rolling boom and there you go now I'm going to take it over to the saute pan and saute it because I think burritos that have been like grilled afterwards are so much better. 
So you want to preheat the frying pan to like a medium high heat. This is a lot higher than what I usually cook stuff at, but I found if you cook it like too low, it just kind of like dehydrates the tortilla and it doesn't actually like toast it. So you want it pretty high. So when grilling or sauteing these or whatever, because I guess this isn't really a grill, uh, I always like to start with the seam side down. That helps to kind of seal that up. So that's the first order of business. And then after about four or five minutes, it should be nice and brown. Oh yeah. So then we're just gonna flip it over, cook the other side. Okay, and then once this side is done, this is where the special trick comes in. Uh, so what I used to do is I used to just kind of like push it up against the side like this so that the you know hot edge of the pan would sort of seal it up. But one of you guys showed me this and it is absolutely epic. So you might want to use like an oven mitt or a towel or something to do this, but you know, I got tough hands. Ouch, no I don't actually. Yeah, so you just want to hold it upright like this. Sometimes it'll stay on its own. Yeah, it will. And then if you have multiple burritos, you could do multiple at one time. But uh, yeah, you just stand it up like this, give it a few minutes. And if it's like kind of leaning, you know, one way here, we got a little leaning tower pizza happening. You just kind of, you know, just rock it back the other way. Work with it. Oh yeah, look at that. Sealed up so perfectly. So I'm gonna do the other side now. And then there you go. Look at that, man. Does not get much more professional. All right. So you could use this thing as a freaking football. So long. All right, so it turned out pretty good. It looks amazing. So many different colors, flavors, textures, and everything in there. So let me give it a bite. I'll let you guys know how it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, wow, that one is so good, even better than I remembered. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about it. It's amazing. I hope you guys enjoy it if you make it. Let's move on to the next. All right, next, let's make the lunch wrap. So this one's going to be a crispy barbecue garden wrap. I just had to name it something, <laughs> so that's what it's gonna be called. Um, I'm gonna be using Butler Soy Curls for the barbecued portion of it. Uh, so if you can't find Butler Soy Curls around, Textured vegetable protein or TVP will work as well. Um, however, this is definitely processed a little bit differently and it is a little bit healthier. So if you can find the Butler soy curls, I would recommend them. But anything will work. If you wanted to use like some Guardian chicken strips or something like the tofu patties that we made earlier, just seasoned a little bit differently, it would work great as well. So to make these, you just want to place them in a bowl of water to rehydrate them, soak them for about 10 minutes, and then drain the excess water. And what I like to do as well is to actually like wring the extra water out with my hands, just so that they're you know not too wet and soggy. That way they're going to take on lots of flavors really easily, and uh, you know cook up nice and crispy. So now these things are absolutely begging for some flavor. Uh, so all I'm going to do for these is just to pour some barbecue sauce on there. It's so simple and so easy and it tastes so good. So I like to squish the barbecue sauce into the soy curls like with my hands. Really work it in there because that way the flavor gets in throughout, you know, the soy curl rather than just on the outside. These are basically like a sponge, so a soy sponge. <laughs> I absolutely love black pepper, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that to it as well. Make it a little spicy. So these are definitely ready to be cooked now and you have a few options there. You could definitely like saute it on the stove top on a frying pan, that would work out great. You could bake them in the oven. However, if you've got it, you might as well air fry them. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be doing. These don't take all that long to cook, but you do wanna keep an eye on them because they do burn really quickly once they do start to cook. And you do wanna like flip them as often as you can so that you cook them really evenly. All right, so while the soy curls are air frying, we'll get some of the veggies ready for this wrap. Well, that's a better looking head of romaine right there. So for this, I do prefer like a nice crispy romaine lettuce rather than like this boxed lettuce here. It just gives it a little bit more crunch. I find it goes a little bit better with it, but um, use whatever you've got. Some bell pepper. Grated carrot. I'm just gonna pop outside and check on the air fryer. So I like to put it out here when I'm making a video because it's not noisy, but you do notice it in the background if I'm filming. So let's see how it is. Oh, yeah, just in time. See how quickly those can burn? Oh, wow. 
Yeah, not quite done yet, but really good. And I almost forgot to chop up the green onion for it as well. All right, so they just finished, and uh, man, like, look at those things. How good does that look? Let me try one out here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crunchy, chewy, you know, barbecue-y. Oh, my God. So I don't have to tell you guys all the ways that you can use this. I mean, you can just imagine. You could put it into a stir fry. Uh, you could have it on top of like a salad. And of course, you could put it in a wrap. So let's make that now. All right, so let's roll this one up. I'm gonna be using the spinach tortilla wrap for this one. Just figured it kind of went well with the whole theme. So no cheese in this one. We're trying to keep it like, you know, kind of lighter <laughs> than the other ones. Uh, but there's no reason why you couldn't. So you can fire some cheese in there if you want. Oh yeah, look at that. See, I did it the wrong way, out of habit. So many years of conditioning. So on this one, I'm gonna hit it with a little mustard. I don't know why, I just feel like that's gonna be good in this. And then we just add the rest of the veggies. So let's start with uh, some carrot, bell pepper, the lettuce, lettuce as some people call it, who are you know less cultured as myself. Get that green onion on there. And I know you guys are probably thinking, this is a little dry. And then, oh, this one's really gonna throw you guys off. I'm gonna hit it with a little homestyle ranch dea because this is just so good in here and it's kind of the name of the game. We're trying to keep this simple today. This is a nice lunch one. You don't want to spend spending all day, you know, making sauces and stuff. So here we go. Got the sauces on that side. All right. So remembering how we folded it last time, you know, a little bit of kind of a funnel sort of dealio going on there. Oh, this one's gonna be tough, but you got to be confident and just go for it. That is the main thing. Don't hesitate. That's a, you know, it's a metaphor for life right there. <laughs> Don't hesitate. Just go for it. Get all that other stuff out of the way. There we go. And then make sure you keep folding and then kind of make sure it's in the right shape that you want. Especially with these ones with all the lettuce and stuff, you really want to pack them down. And then Ready for the saute pan. I'm not gonna saute this one for as long just because it's got so many fresh ingredients in it, but I am gonna hit it on the stove top for a little bit. So much better when you toast them up. I got the rice. I forgot to put rice in here. <laughs> so I can't believe I did that. What an idiot. But there are no mistakes in the kitchen, remember? There are only challenges, guys. I thought it felt like a little small when I was rolling it, but and then I'm definitely gonna hit this with a bit more sauce because this is you know, looking a little dry. Take two. Oh yeah, all good. All right, there we go. So now let's saute it. So like with the last one, seam side down. All right, so this one also turned out amazingly. I love the look of this one. I think this one's probably gonna be my favorite just because of those soy curls, they're so good. But um, yeah, let me try it out. Okay. Mm. It's like the freaking best burrito ever. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, this is honestly, it's like one of the best things I've ever eaten. It's so good. Oh my gosh, I love food so much. People are always so worried when you go vegan that you're not gonna have anything to eat. You're gonna miss bacon and you're gonna miss all these different things. Trust me, over 10 years on now and eating stuff like this, I do not miss any of it. All right, so let's make the last one, the dinner burrito. And of course, you don't have to have these for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can have them at any time of the day if you want. Uh, but I'm just trying to give you guys ideas, and obviously the flavors are, you know, targeted towards sort of each meal time. But have them whenever you'd like. Breakfast or dinner is amazing. All right, so this is just gonna be like your classic Mexican-inspired bean burrito. And it's not gonna be anything too crazy, but you know, just a nice solid bean burrito recipe. Every vegan should have one of these under their belt. So we already have the rice all made. However, if you wanted to season the rice for this dish or for any dish really, you can always add some salsa to the rice before you cook it. It is so good and it's a really easy way to flavor it. Gives it lots of different flavor and it'll go perfectly in this. However, I just wanted that rice to be plain so that I could use it for all of these. So we're gonna be sauteing some veggies and first I'm gonna chop the onion some more bell pepper. So then like I usually do, I'm just gonna splash a little water on there just to get a little water saute going. And then I'm just gonna fire some spices in there. So some chili seasoning, onion powder, say it with me, <laughs> garlic powder, and some cumin. 
Those four spices go really well together. So if you guys can remember those, you know, might make some tasty things. So once they start to cook down a bit, you notice that the onions going a little bit translucent means they're pretty close to being done. So what I'm gonna do is just scoot them over to this side of the frying pan. And then I'm just gonna add some beans to this side. So I've just got a combination of black beans and pinto beans here. So you just wanna heat those up and you wanna add some flavor to them as well. So I'm gonna be adding a little bit of salsa since it's so easy and so good. And then I'll just add some of the spices that I added to the veggies there as well. All right, so this is all done. Everything cooked up really nicely. And now we roll. So this one is definitely getting cheese. Get that rice in this one. I don't want to forget that this time. Some fresh tomatoes, some cilantro. So you obviously don't have to put it on here. I know a lot of people don't like it, so don't get all upset. I mean, who doesn't want a green that tastes like soap. You guys are crazy. Some avocado on there too. And then a little more salsa. Nobody likes a dry burrito. All right, now time to roll this one up. Okay, let's see. So I'm two for two. Hopefully I can make it three for three. I think this one was a little bit too full. And for some reason, this tortilla is like smaller than the rest of them. That is not helping my cause. All right, so this one is done and it looks amazing as well. Just like the other ones, I would not expect anything less at this point from my skills. <laughs> wow. All right, so yeah, this one is really good as well. Absolutely full of flavor. However, if there's one little bit of criticism that I could say about this one, it is that it lacks like something chewy or a little bit of bite in there, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, the breakfast one had like the tofu, the other one had the um, had the soy curls, and this one is just kind of like, it's really good, don't get me wrong, but it's just a little bit like mushy. It could definitely deal with something else. So, I don't know, if you guys can think of what else would be good in here to kind of add that, let me know in the comments down below. But I mean, trust me, it's not bad. Mm-hmm. All right, so I think that's probably it for this video. We've made breakfast, lunch, and dinner burritos. There's nothing left to do except for eat them. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you do end up making these, definitely tag me on Instagram, at Simnet Nutrition. I absolutely love seeing your creations, especially when they've been inspired by some of my recipes. So if you got something out of this video or you just wanna help me out, definitely hit the like button. I appreciate it. Subscribe so that you can see more from me. And if you already have, thank you guys so much. We're getting between like seven, 10,000 new subscribers every month right now, which is absolutely incredible. So welcome if you're new to the channel. Thanks for sticking around if you're not, and I will see you guys very soon with another video.